What's up, everybody? This is Rich from Turbo to DDC and Prepping. Use your gear or lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So, just wanted to come on here today. I haven't done a video in a while. I haven't really had a lot of time. I wanted to go over a pouch that I just recently purchased on Amazon. It is a budget pouch. It is by Tiki Designs, and uh, it's actually pretty solid. Um, I like it. I haven't really carried it because I'm still carrying my 200 uh, dollar EDC challenge for the month of October and I will be doing a review of that after the month is over about you know what I thought of this stuff and uh, if it's useful or if it's not or whatever so I just want to come on here and do this and uh, this is a uh, just a clamshell pouch it is um, according to the uh, Amazon listing it says that it is uh, five by eight but it also says it's five by seven so somewhere in between five by seven and five by eight by four by three so um, pretty decent size fits in your hand I'm not sure this would fit in one of my pockets um, you know whatever it might I'm probably just gonna hand carry this so it does have the clamshell opening it has two pockets on the outside it has one larger pocket uh, on the front side and then it has this uh, loop panel that you can attach you know ranger eyes or morale patches or whatever you want it does have uh this is one uh zipper with a zipper pull um it is 500 d nylon not sure what the zippers are doesn't really say um but i have it loaded out uh when you open it um i have a hank in here this is just a uh, gondek edc hank this is a glow in the dark one for halloween um, it does now it has a like so this is weird okay so this, it has these uh, elastic loops right but underneath the elastic loops it has pockets so it says that it has one uh, two three four five six seven eight nine pockets which it does but if you put anything in these loops they're gonna go into the pocket so that kind of nulls the pocket right and uh, the exact same if you just put it in the pocket it nulls the loops so you know whatever it's not really a big deal to me you just put it through the loop it goes into the pocket and uh you go from there but you can't really use these at the same time and these back two pockets you have to put some kind of flat stuff back there um because obviously you have things in front of those two as well so i mean you know it's a pretty solid pouch it's just there's a little bit of issues <laughs> like i mean it's not that serious though um so yeah so in this i have a kershaw this is a kershaw um showtime i have that in there and as you can see here now uh you got the loop right here and it goes into that pocket um i have the coast uh g22 in that pocket i just have some band-aids back here and i put a little uh this is just a little uh, survival whistle. It's also a ferro rod and it has a little striker. I mainly put it in there for the uh, whistle actually in case I ever needed to signal and it's super loud. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I have those band-aids in there. Over here I have a small pen. Uh, I have my waterproof notebook in this back pocket because that's pretty large. And then I have a, a lighter actually fits in here really well. I just picked this up at Tractor Supply. I was just there and I know I needed a lighter to go in there. So I just picked up some random lighters for like a dollar and it fits in there perfectly. Um, and then I just put some uh, uh, nail clippers over here. So then on the outside, I just have a small three inch pry bar I got on Amazon. And then I also have a pair of just collapsible scissors that are pretty awesome because honestly uh for my carry for this month for the challenge i've been uh using the uh sunbird multi-tool um because i wanted to see if the scissors were useful at all to me and these are actually pretty solid scissors and i've been using them a lot so i've had these and i've had them in my uh ouch pouch and i decided to get another set and put them in here because they are actually quite useful um, for things like that you don't want to use a knife for um, you know you might not just want to pull out pull a knife out so um, they're actually really good in there and they fit there really well and uh, um, everything else that I put in here you know fits in here pretty good and like I said you can put all that stuff in there and then you can close it up as well um, like this pad fits in there pretty good I mean it's, it's a little tight but it fits in there good so that's in there um, then you have the pen the lighter and the nail clipper so this is basically what it looks like on the inside you have a large pocket right here you have a large pocket back here you have one two three elastic loops here you have the uh two pockets one here and one there two loops and two more pockets behind and then you have the large pouch pocket in the front which i just threw some uh 
alcohol wipes and, uh, you know, it's finger bowl things. What do you call it? <laughs> Those wet wipes in there. So, but you could fit this in the front, you know, three by five notebook will fit in there, whatever. Um, so they actually make a few different versions of this. This is the one with the loop panel that only goes up to like three quarters of the way. And then there's nothing. The other one, um, actually only has the loop panel up here on the top portion and the rest is just regular nylon. And then they have two that are full loop panels that they say are different, but they actually really look the same to me. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. I mean, I can't really tell the difference, but so technically there's four versions of this but in reality i think there's only three but whatever overall it's pretty solid um like i said though if you put anything in here it's going to go into there if you put anything into these pockets it's going to block that so eh, whatever unless you do little stuff i mean you could probably put something in here and in there or attach it to the front of it um so yeah you could work around it though but it's pretty solid i like the loops definitely love the clamshell opening um it's a good size for hand carry um you could probably put it in a cargo jean but i think it'll take up the whole leg pocket but i'll have to try it out once uh this month is over and i switch back to a different um a carry after the uh, 200 dollars edc challenge so i will link this uh to uh the description of the video and this was 16 bucks on Amazon. So, I mean, seriously, you're getting your money's worth. You know what I mean? For 16 bucks, you can't really beat it. It's really solid. Had some good reviews. And uh, I think it's good. Um, so I'm going to start carrying it as soon as possible. So you guys have a good evening. Um, and again, I'll link this into the description so you guys can check it out. Have a good one.